Ahoy, mine fellers! I have done some digging, and the last cherub is right up here. So there are a couple things that I could do there, but I'm going to go the hard way, because I haven't done enough difficult things lately. Definitely not. So, instead of doing this the easy way, I'm going to do this the way that sucks a lot. Um, but, you know, it shouldn't be that bad, really. See? I can just do things like that the whole time. But, um, it's kind of amazing that I missed this. Well, not really, because it's, it's, um, relatively out of the way and kind of difficult to get to see. But, you know. Haha, <laughs> moron. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Oh boy. So here's what we do, fellas. Simple. 38 out of 38. Alright, now we just head back down and hope not to die. Hold up. What's below me here? Well, that's a much simpler solution. Okay, dude. Just making sure I have the linens on because it would be uh, very bad if I didn't. Personally speaking, I would become a red spot on the pavement, and uh, that would just be so much worse. I don't even actually know how that how it works in this game, because you can fall from a pretty massive, sizable height in this game. But I guess that's only... No, I guess it is fall damage. They don't actually specifically say what kills you, but I'd imagine that it's fall damage. Because they, they kind of show a bit the linens... Um, when you're being respawned. I don't know. Hey, what's up, dude? I found your brethren. Your you're returning steps. steps. You have found all of my brothers imprisoned by the miracle. That I have, Jericho. Now that they are free. Right, this guy's name is Jericho. All souls and penance, He's got a horn, well so. Ah. Cool. Come closer. Take this, take piece, this of piece of me. With it, one of my holy brethren will join you whenever necessary. How nice! You can try to be Thanks, honest, pal. Penitent one in good fortune. This guy, guy's got to be like the nicest. Oh, cool! Got to be the nicest fella I know in this game. Uh, for being, you know. A fellow with a golden face and no clothes bursting out of a bisected bowl. It's just kind of... It's kind of nice. Ah, what does this do? Ancient chant to the moon that calls for the aid of her offspring. Summons a group of cherubs. Cherubim. Wow. Well, honestly... It's fully possible that when I say cherubim, I'm thinking specifically of the biblical figures that are nothing like the cherub that we think of. Biblical cherubim, by the way, are um, humanoid bronze figures with four wings and four faces. Uh, one of a... Uh, I just remember that one's a lion, one's an eagle, and I think the other one's a bull. And of course the face of a man. And the eagle's on the back of the head. Anyways, uh, God, I want to say this is Ezekiel. There's some wacky stuff. Ah. Uh, Attacking nearby enemies. Oh boy. I get a swarm? Oh! That's gonna be helpful. Um, you know, I needed to go to the bathroom. And I thought I would be fine, but I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. Because, I mean. I don't know. I'll be back though. You'll see. Really interesting. Ever. Because they're just never really mentioned more than like twice. I don't know. Maybe this is something that the old world had more experience in um, secularly. But I guess when you're talking about biblical figures, you don't exactly have secular contact. I don't know. It's just interesting stuff. What do I want to do here? I think I know what I want to do here. 
I am gonna kill God. Uh, not really. Um, honestly? No, we never actually... Uh, well, I'm trying to think about what exactly happens here. For one, am I at 100% map completion? No, I'm at 98. Fair enough. Fair enough. Whoa, dude. In my dreams, I heard your footsteps coming closer. Ah, In how my nice. Dreams, I tried to talk to you and introduce myself. How about Guardian that? Guardian of the miracle and of the miracle banner, with great pain, I carry the emblem of the father. How nice. I am the hands of bloodied skin. I am the eyes from which your mother gazes. I see. There's nothing I know of you. Apart from your cold, nameless visage, apart uh, from your calloused and wounded hands, apart from the mourning of your deaths. Huh. No, I know nothing of you. Only the miracle you know. I see. Very interesting. Now may your sword, full of guilt, with mine of gold, collide. Huh. Then hurt. Yeah, I suppose that would be. I curse you forever in name. I bless you forever in death. Okay, then. You know what we're doing first. Where is he? God, I forgot about that. Isn't that something? This guy's honestly a pretty wacky fellow. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I should probably have um, done equipped something about um, elemental damage. That would be a good idea, actually. Do I have a... Uh, what do I remember about um, entire elemental damage? Uh, all elemental damage. It provides some protection. Do I still have the coin on? I still don't think that does anything. Wait, hold up. I have the, the dashing... Yeah, cooldown is actually pretty good for now. Oh, yeah. Let me out. Okay, cool. Bro, I like how he phases out and I can't touch him, but he still does contact damage. I wonder if I can, um, the answer is probably no. Okay, so the answer was no. Um, I really should have thought about that a bit better. Perhaps. Anyways. Die already. Ah, oh, come on! It's like the one thing I can't handle. Oh, great, you're doing this, do you? Come on. Drop your shields. There we go. You old bag! Am I right, fellas? Shattered the mirror in which you saw me sleep. Huh. Now you see me awoken as the son of the true miracle. Oh, great. Oh? Oh. Those are some ashes, huh? Uh, where am I going? Oh, hey, I remember that guy. Oh. Hey, I remember that guy. That's contact damage. That's some contact damage right there. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, I can do things like that too. If I so choose. It didn't really do much, but you know, it's it's something that I can do, you know, if I so choose. 
Can this guy, like, die already? Thank you. Since I can't always get up to him. Um, you know, Cherubim is a good idea here. If I can, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, a constant issue. Wonderful, wonderful. Just perfect timing, really. I refuse to let that fly. Can this man's sword just like take its own life? There we go. Ow. Ow. What am I at? Actually, I don't have the fervor for anything anyway. Do I have the fur for this? No, I don't. Toronto, my sister. Somehow I'm still already at um, almost halfway down, so that's nice. I am out of file flasks though, so this is gonna be. It's gonna suck a lot, is, is what I'm getting at. Okay, at least they're not doing the. Um, <laughs> okay, wonderful. Why would I have a sister in Toronto? That's all I'm wondering. Okay. Oh, there. Okay, now he's open. If I could, you know, get up to him, that'd be cool. Oh, great. So, about the whole fireballs sucking thing. They heard me. They heard my pleas, and they said, okay, good. I guess I'll do that. There we go. Now, oh, please, dear God. Look at that health! Come on, there we go. Ho 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 ho! Ooh. Ah, good. See, they're finally gone. Right? That was four arms, dude. I didn't know His Holiness was a tetra man, dude, dude, dude. Benjamin Kirby Tennyson. Summa blasphemia. Nice. We committed the ultimate blasphemy. <laughs> we did it, guys. We straight up killed God. Ah, look. There's a there's a there's a bunch of snow or something. How nice. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? His holiness from his afflicted torment, and now he walks by his old processions on the other side of the dream. The cradle of the grievous miracle, the final relic, the grail of blood and gold that emanated from the forehead of the father as he silently lamented the moment of his blessed twisting. The first relic is here, at the top of the ashen mountain, next to the turned throne where his holiness was kissed by a miraculous pain. And now your final communion with the miracle awaits. Only you will be able to know how much. Yes. You know it. But you know what's cool? I do, in fact, have a large amount of guilt. And that means that I can come all the way up here. That's right, we got the good ending. I'm not even showing you bad ending, because that means fighting the boss more than once. And like heck, I'm going to do that. Now what? Oh! That's, uh... Um, I was not expecting that one. Huh. Well. We did it, guys. We committed seppuku. We're a tree now. Cool. You know what that means.
Well, I guess maybe you don't. Ha ha, we have become God. That's right. I have replaced religion with myself. I'm really hoping this doesn't come out of context. You know, because I'm not a blasphemer really. Very nice. Got very wacky stuff going on here. Thus came the moment of final communion with the sword born of guilt. A last sacrifice in order to finish penance and break off with the ungodly will of the grievous miracle. Interesting. But the plans of the miracle are capricious. Penance never ends, but changes, hurts, and condemns at will. You know it, fellas. There is no place for the penitent one on the other side of the dream. This place is here among us. <laughs> among us! Bruh. Amogus. <laughs> Very nice. Of our prayers. Forever and ever. The good ending. Limbo. <laughs> How nice. Please don't crash game. Please. Oh boy. Credits. Should I skip the credits, fellas? No, I'm gonna put him on uh, eight times speed. Maybe 16. Perhaps 30, no. Oh, wow. How about all that? We don't even get music for the credits. I'm just gonna watch them roll, why not? Isn't that nice? <laughs> I gotta say, this game's up there in my favorites. I I guess I just really I like sword and sorcery games kind of like this. And there's an aspect of it that... Um, what the heck was that? Anyways, there's this aspect to it that goes beyond just sword and sorcery. Like with Hi Hyper Light Drifter, there was... Um, not the Malice. There was uh, the corruption. There was a um, sci-fi aspect to it, which sci-fi goes really well with fantasy. <clears throat> and I really do like pure sci-fi fantasies. Like um, Dune. Dune's a really good one that's really like a pure sci-fi fantasy. Not to the point of there being really like magic magic, but there are things that aren't well explained, but it, it is relative relatively sci-fi scientific in nature somewhat and that's always nice so that was um hyper light drifter and this of course had the um had the religious aspect and that's always interesting to see but just a lot of stuff that uh, you don't really you know doesn't really get explained <laughs> blasphemous 2 anyways there is actually blasphemous 2 coming out in a uh, 20 through 23. So isn't that something? Oh, footsteps. And thus shall your name be erased under the heavens. I knew I should have killed her. Dude. She took my freaking sword. Bruh. Relinquary of the suffering heart. The bleeding heart skin. How nice. Dude, I'm no bleeding heart. I'm no bleeding freaking heart. Is it even really all that different? Yeah, I guess it's more red. It's kind of interesting. I do like Archaic Exaltation a bit better, but that's just because it... It's probably more because of, um, <laughs> I, 
can ascend again. 123.81% completion. Out of what? I have no idea. You know, actually, that might include um, different uh, penances. So, I don't know how I want to deal with that. But, um, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on up there. And I want to say there is another DLC that I might not have gotten. And, of course, there's also Sacred Sorrows, which I believe to be a boss rush. So, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do here, either. But, for now, finale! Like, comment, and subscribe, or I will, um, uh, I will smite you through, through holy might. You know it, fellas. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.